Row level security in Looker Studio. Only have certain people access certain things. Very easy to do, very impactful too. What's going on everybody? I'm Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm, always trying to help the small business world become more data driven. Today we got just a feature of Google Looker Studio that we're highlighting, so row level security. Think of it as the bouncer at a black tie event, a black tie gala, something really fancy, right? Where only certain people can see certain things, can go into certain rooms, stuff like that, right? So in the data world, the classic example is uh, for like a sales team, right? So the sales leader or the sales manager, whatever, can see everything, but maybe the sales folks can only see their individual results. So something like that, where you need to control access by emails and by emails uh, that are accessing the dashboard, row level security is the way to do it. It's definitely the best way. It might be the only way in, in a few different senses of that. Um, certain departments can only see their information too, right? So things like that. Um, let's jump into how to do it. Okay, so here we've got a very, very uh, picturesque and visually appealing dashboard, but the purpose obviously here is functionality, not uh, looks. So real level security. So right now we've got three different companies in this data set, and I'll show you what that data set looks like. Here we've got our data. It is very simply company A, B, A, B and C. They have sales of one, two, and three hundred dollars, right? So very simple use case, but how we do this in Looker Studio is we need an access list and a data set. So our data set is here, our very expansive data set, and then here's our access table. So right now I'm logged in as me, company A, B, C. So we've listed my email under all the companies that um, we have in there, right? So right now I'm logged in as me, there we go. So I can see companies A, B, and C sorted by sales. If we remove me from company A, and then we refresh the data here, we should not see company A in here. There we go, it's gone now. The data still exists, right? But I can't see it. That's because we have this data blend here. So we've got our data table here, company and sales, we've got our access table here, company and email. Now, we join those together on the company level in this instance, and then by bringing in the email, we allow it to filter by email. Part two of that is in our added data sources here in our access table. We've got this filter by email option. So if you click on that, make sure you check filter the data by viewer email, and then what field are we talking about here? So I've named it email, which is quite easy. As long as that is checked and that field is applied, once we get back into that blend, we get the situation where only the permissioned emails can access uh, the right data. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, right? Nothing super crazy, but it is very, very impactful and very important in a lot of different cases too. So we are always happy to help implement and educate and always trying to help the small business world become more data driven. We genuinely mean that. So. Feel free to reach out if you want us to help um, implement something like this or train your team on how to do uh, anything a bit more expansive than a three-line data set, okay? Stay data-driven, everybody.